I'm Akira Sakai, an anime geek in my second year as a working adult. Every morning on the train commuting to work, there's a beautiful working woman who catches my eye. What a beautiful woman. One day, the train was so crowded that the working woman had no place to sit. I wonder what's wrong. Is she not feeling well? <laughs> All right then, if you'd like, please take my seat. Oh, but you must be tired. No worries, it's just for today. I see. Thank you for your kind offer. The working woman got off at the same station as usual. Her reserved smile was dazzling. The train was also crowded the next day. The only seat left was next to mine. The working woman actually sat next to me. What? No, it's just because the next seat happened to be open. Stay calm, stay calm. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for yesterday. When I woke up yesterday morning, I woke up to a message from my boss chastising me, so I was feeling down. But when you gave up your seat to me, I felt like I could keep going. I'm happy I could help. We small talked a bit until we got off the train. Her name is Aoi Suzuki. Apparently, it's her second year since she started working too. She's busy with work and has to overtime most nights. From that day onwards, whenever the seat next to mine was free, Suzuki-san would sit down for small talk. You've been in a pretty good mood these days, huh? She's the president of the company I work at. It's small scale, but she's still a full-on career woman managing the whole company. I'm socially awkward, so I kept failing at job interviews, but she was the only one who hired me. She saved my life. It's great you can work in a happy mood. By the way, just to check up on you, how's it coming along with our mid-career recruitment? We're in a pinch. No one is applying to work with us. I guess it can't be helped, us being a small company and all. Hey, Sakai, can you introduce us to a friend of yours? I can trust a friend of someone serious like you. I don't really have anyone I can introduce us to. I don't really have any friends anyways. I've been a loner since back in school. What's wrong, Sakai? Suddenly tearing up like that. <laughs> no, I just have something in my eye. I owe my company president big time, so I really wish I could help her out. Oh, Sakai-san, are you on your way home? <sighs> yeah. You too, Suzuki-san? Yes. Today I could get off from work early for a change. I guess I should binge watch the anime I've been meaning to check out. Huh? Suzuki-san, you watch anime? Of course! This season! Discovering an unlikely point in common, we talked intently about anime for a bit. I'll make sure to check out the anime you recommended, Sakai-san! Oh, excuse me. Oh, I have to get off at the next stop. See you! I wonder what happened. She looked like she was having a great time. Worried about Suzuki-san's brooding look, I got off the train right after her. Suzuki-san has no idea I'm there. Just as I thought, she's acting strangely. Hello? Hey, what is the meaning of this? I could hear a man hurling abuses at her from the smartphone. I apologize. I promise to fix this tomorrow. <gasps> Sakai-san! Sorry. You looked like you were having such a hard time that I got worried. Sakai-san, I... I... <laughs> I'm sorry for getting so upset. No worries. What in the world is going on? If you're up to it, um... I could lend you an ear. For the past few months, my superior has taken things out on me very harshly. Today, too, there was an issue with the documents I prepared, so I got scolded. Isn't he abusing his authority? That might be. Have you thought of changing jobs? I'd like to, but I'm too busy to job hunt. I barely make it on time for the last train on weekdays, and I sometimes even have to work on weekends. What a toxic company. 
and the boss abusing his authority on top of that. Is there anything I can do? Anything. Oh, that's it. Would you like to try taking a job interview at my company? Um, but are you sure? Even someone like me? It's the company president who will make the call. But I'm sure she'll like a nice and friendly person like you, Suzuki-san. I've been in charge of recruitment all this time, so I know the type of person the president wants. Suzuki-san would be perfect for the job. I really appreciate your kindness. Didn't think you'd be the type bringing in a female acquaintance. Aren't you quite the man? <laughs> Can't really say that she's just a woman who happens to ride on the same train car as me. Alrighty then, I'll go ahead and interview her. <laughs> that means... <laughs> yeah, apparently she'll hire me. Suzuki-san soon blended right into the company. She's really friendly, so she communicates perfectly with our clients. <laughs> you really helped me out there, introducing me to such a great person. I knew I could count on a friend of yours. Suzuki-san got used to the company no problem, but our company is still understaffed. I guess we're interviewing this person today. Hmm? Looks like this person used to work at Aoi's previous company. Could I have a moment of your time, Suzuki-san? Uh, what was this person like? <gasps> By the way, this company went bankrupt. Well, that was a close call. Suzuki-san? <gasps> Could this person be the abusive boss? Uh, yes. Never would have thought the abusive boss would come in for an interview. It's always guys like him who are really good at sucking up to their own bosses. So worst case scenario, he'll get hired. Speaking of the devil... Is it from your ex-boss? Yes, I'm sure he's calling to make me recommend him. I'm sure he's going to say horrible things to Suzuki-san again. Horrible things. That's it! I have an awesome idea! President! What's up, Sakai? Could you come over here for a moment, please? Suzuki-san, pick up the phone. Put it on speakerphone. Huh? Okay. Is that you, Suzuki? Long time no see. How have you been? I have a small favor to ask. I'm thinking of going in for a job interview at your company, but... I've heard. Then, that'll save us some time. You better talk me up. The company president is the one who makes the call. There's nothing I can do to help. What? Huh, looks like someone's learned to speak up. Jeez, who do you think you're talking to? Huh? What an unpleasant guy. Who even is he? This guy. This guy. He used to work at the same company as Suzuki. I totally understand now. Hey, you. Huh? Who's this? I'm the president of the company you're about to interview for. You've got some nerve hurling abuse at one of my employees. There's no need to come in for the interview. There's no way we're hiring you. Huh? What? Wait a minute! The heck? Thanks to you two, I could avoid a totally useless interview. Thanks! I felt reassured, seeing my boss overjoyed and Suzuki-san relieved. It was on the way home that day. Um, Sakai-san, I have something to tell you. Yeah? From the day you gave up your seat to me, I've fallen in love with you, Sakai-san. <laughs> I was really happy when you invited me to join your company, and when you protected me from my ex-boss showing so much tact. You were so incredible. So, please go out with me. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Is that a no? There was no reason to say no. I've liked her this whole time too, even before we started talking. If you're okay with someone like me, I'd love to. <laughs> I want you, Sakai-san. I look forward to spending more time together. 
And this is how I made a girlfriend from giving up my seat on the train.